So this is Ms. Joseph. Um, Ms. Joseph suffers from a cervical disc bulge and had presented with pain in her neck, head, and radiating down to the shoulder, which is very common with cervical disc disease. The first procedure I did was an occipital nerve block, which gave her 75% relief of her headaches. Today, I'm going to do a suprascapular nerve block. Uh, many other physicians may opt for an epidural at this point. However, I feel a suprascapular nerve block is way less invasive, and it usually works pretty well. And most patients can avoid a cervical epidural by doing this type of injection, which is um, going to be done under the supraspinatus muscle. Suprascapular nerve is a branch of C5 and C6. It does not go down to the hand. However, many patients will get relief of radicular symptoms from this shot. And that's possibly because of the peripheral action of the local anesthetic or the steroid having some sort of either systemic uptake or even just the localized relief of pain, helping the patient overcome the acute phase or intense chronic phase, I could say. Uh, I've seen a lot of people do very well with this shot, and because I'm far away from the spinal cord, it's much less risky than a cervical epidural. So I'm going to first image her supraspinatus muscle, increase depth. Okay, so right here we have an image of the suprascapular nerve under the transverse scapular ligament at the bottom left of my screen. I'm cleaning her skin. First going to spray her with a vapor coolant spray. Give me a little pinch, okay? You okay? Mm -hmm. Great. And the needle's going down to the nerve, passing through the ligament right here. I'm going to aspirate, negative, and injecting. I'm going to reposition to the other side of the nerve. and inject the rest. I gave her a mixture of bupivacaine, quarter percent, with 10 milligrams of Depomedrol, which is another advantage of this procedure. Unlike a cervical epidural, patients often do not need as much steroid, and they do quite well. Are you in any pain right now? No. A little soreness, maybe? Or? Yeah, a little. OK. Can you lift your arm up? It may feel a little heavy. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay, and the, the block takes 20 minutes to fully set. So using the ultrasound, I can work around her cervical problem. I don't need to go directly to the epidural space. Of course, epidurals in the neck do work quite well. And if I need to do it, I'll do it. But for now, she's doing very well with the headache relief from the greater occipital nerve block, as well as she has a chance to get some relief of the radiating pain down to her shoulder with the suprascapular nerve block. Thank you.